look what I got. The Google Pixel 7 Pro and the new Pixel Watch, the LTE model. I didn't know they were going to send me the watch, so that's actually pretty exciting because I already bought and ordered one. But this is going to be a little bit of an interesting video. I have these boxes here. We're going to do a brief unboxing, first impressions, all that stuff. You might have noticed I'm actually wearing the Pixel Watch right now, and I have my Pixel 7 Pro already out of the box. Google sent them to me that way, so it really takes the joy out of it. But anyway, we're going to do like a reverse unboxing because they didn't touch the accessories. Kind of weird. So I'll show you what's in there. Do that brief. I've already set up the phone, transferred all my information. I'm going to talk about it, face unlock, fingerprint sensor, some of those things. So let's get into it right now. So here we have the Pixel 7 Pro. And like I showed you, I have the Pixel Watch as well. This is the LTE model. Let's go ahead and look at what's inside the box. I got the phone right here already. And we're going to cover that. And let me take this. I got this cheap case off of Amazon I got on here like a week ago. I am going to look into some other cases for it. Sound off in the comments if you want to see me make a kind of a best of cases for the Pixel 7, Pixel 7 Pro. Here it is. So I'm going to set it right over here just so you can keep an eye on it in the distance while we look at what's in the box. So like I said, Google sent this to me already open. And it's the first time they've ever done that. They put it in this nice box. That's cool. I appreciate that. But it took away from the unboxing experience. Not not trying to complain about getting something free. I mean, I'm glad they sent this to me, but I wanted to take it out of the box. So, yeah, basically the same stuff we always get. USB to USB-C cable. Got the USB adapter, MTD, so you can transfer media, USB file, you know, USB drive stuff, and set up your new phone. And then we got this little tiny thing with some, basically the legal paperwork that maybe some quick setup that nobody... Let's see what it is. I, I don't want to tell you wrong. Okay, so, yeah, warn, warning information, and there's our SIM ejector tool inside of there. So not a whole lot. I guess they're like, here, go check this stuff out if you want to learn anything about your phone, jerk. Thanks for buying it. So that is the Pixel 7 Pro unboxing. <laughs> Let me take this stuff out of here. I am interested in this one because I'm like, okay, what comes with it? This almost looks like a little charging pad, you know, like a one big piece, but it's not. It has a little puck in here. Looks like we undo it this way. Have the charging cable with the little pod. Well, all right, so that came out. <clears throat> yep, so we got our, it looks very much like an Apple Watch charger, but more of like a pebble puck on it. I've never seen a Fitbit charger. Do they look like this? Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments. I've never actually owned one. USB-C there, no charging brick, of course. Extra watch strap here, which should be a little bit bigger than the one that I've got, so that's nice if you care about that and then of course the paperwork that nobody reads and they don't give you stickers they're, they're not like apple you know apple gives you an apple sticker with all the stuff that they sell you pixel watch right here if you're wondering what this is no it's not a chrome bezel on the watch but it is kind of a chrome bezel i added onto the watch this is not a plug i just bought this and i thought this would help keep it safe i used one before years ago and i liked it so yeah it's on my bezel help protect my screen and the edges all that good stuff there you have it. I'll have a link in the description for that if you want to check one out. Also, I have links in the description if you're looking to pre-order one of these. If you see this video today when I'm publishing this, the last day for the pre-order to get the extras. So yeah, let's pull the phone up here because this is the whole crown jewel of the entire affair. You see the one unibody metals piece back here. It does look a little bit thinner. Maybe, maybe a little bit thinner from last year with the Pixel 6 Pro. Three camera setup here. Primary, telephoto, ultra wide. Take the macro shots now. I've got the black color, I believe it's called Obsidian, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I'm not going to show you my pen, but, bam, fingerprint sensor does seem to be responsive. From what I know when I was told, it's a new one, so it does seem to be working pretty good. Also, ta-da, face unlock. I'm leaning off to the side here. Maybe you can see it in the, in the image, in the reflection. See, there's me, face over here. Bam, it works. So we have those. I need to test it out from what I'm hearing. I, I don't know if you can use it with Google Pay or not. We'll find out. But you can use the NFC on the watch if you want to use that as a payment method. So that's cool. Same thing with all the other Google phones. Power up top, volume on the bottom. 6.7 inch screen. Looks like we've got a mic right there. SIM tree over here on the left. It does support eSIM as well. Speaker setup, USB-C on the bottom. Another microphone there, very, very cool LED flash, Google logo, very prominent there. 
The screen itself does look nicer, looks brighter. One thing I'm happy to report that they did fix, the haptic feedback. They got the haptic feedback back like it was originally with the Pixel 6 Pro. It's so nice and tight and responsive. I am in love with the haptic feedback on here. The curved edge is very subtle. Like it's hardly even noticeable that's even curved. So this is probably gonna make a lot of people happy who normally like a more flat display. Gives it more of a boxy appearance, but kind of makes it seem like you have more landscape up top on the screen. I do like the nice subtle curve though, flows over into the camera. Very, very cool. 5,000 milliamp batteries, got Bluetooth, wireless charging, the whole nine yards, IP68, all the things that you like. Still the same charging speed as last year. I was hoping they would improve that, but it doesn't seem like they did. We also have the new ultra wide and the new telephoto on the back. Same, same front facing selfie camera as last year, which is no big deal because I thought it was pretty good. 4K60 on the front and the back. Very fancy. What do y'all think? Do we like it? Do we don't like it? I think it looks pretty fancy. It feels really thin to me, especially with this case on. I don't know why. This phone is a nice kind of sigh of relief after using the other behemoth phones here lately. So this will be nice. It's kind of sleek. Has a good balance and overall feel to it. Feels very premium. Feels like the most premium, well put together phone that Google has ever made. So I'm happy about that. Can't wait to get in and actually use it. All right. So here we have the Pixel Watch. Again, I have that rinky bezel styling on here. Already set up with Fitbit. Apparently my heart rate was a little high walking around and doing all this stuff. Steps. I got a lot to go because I just set it up. Got some Google set up here for my home location and stuff like that. And then we have the weather information. I like that. No event schedule for today. I need to log into Fitbit even though I just set it up. Exercise modes. Press the crown to go back. There's a little menu button here, which pulls up your recent apps. I'm going to take this off so you can get a better feel for it. This is the smaller band, I think. I haven't measured it, but it does come with a smaller and a larger band. It fits all right. I'm not too concerned about the screen. I think the screen size is okay. It definitely does feel smaller on the wrist than my Apple Watch Ultra, which we'd of course expect. If you've got a bigger wrist, this likely will. If you have a bigger wrist, it likely will kind of look and feel a little bit smaller on you. Got the sensor on the back there. You can see it kicking away. I've still got a lot to learn about this guy so I can start using it, test it out, make a review and everything. But so far, I mean, I like the way it looks. I think it looks sleek. It looks sexy as far as watches go. It's definitely something a little bit different out there, especially considering looking at the Apple Watch Ultra, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. This is another option. It's in the Google ecosphere. It's got the Fitbit, all that jazz. And I will come back with a full review on that later on. But I just got this today. So I wanted to show it off, show the phone off, give you guys a little piece of some interesting stuff to look at today. And I will have another video coming out tomorrow. I'm going to take some photos with this today and see how that works out. Really excited about that. Excited about these two products in general. Been waiting a long time for them to come out. And that's pretty much all I got. So if you have any questions, anything specific you want to see, please let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.